So let's uh, get to these grand finals. I got it. All right. The grand finals in full effect. We have Johan versus Muse. Here comes EDG with the technical knowledge. I'm over here just assisting, saying some funny stuff here and there. Well, funny, haha. <laughs> Uh, all right, this this used to be the matchup we saw all the time in the OKCC, Johan versus Muse in Grand Finals, just about every tournament we'd have here, but we're finally bringing some competition in. But it looks like Muse and Johan are going to make it to Grand Finals again this time around. So we'll see how this goes down. So who's the uh, underdog here so that uh, I can root for them? Currently, Muse is the underdog. Uh, Johan gets a nice checkmate for early stock, only 60%. But uh, Muse is the underdog because they did fight in... Um, in the winners finals earlier mm -hmm. and so now uh, Muse is getting his run back against Johan and coming up from the loser side getting his second chance getting his at second redemption chance. so if Muse wants to take this he does have to win a total of six games six in a row or six total six total gotcha he has to win the first three in order to uh, advance to do it again get the bracket reset let's go Muse there we go he gets the stock they're only 25% down so pretty much even right now even stocks one and one johan zero muse one all right and right here it's pretty much a valid projectile though because neither one of them wants to get hit at this point because whoever gets the start of the hit is going to eat a lot of damage so you're going to see a lot of walling out from the tune link and then you're also going to see Robin trying to get away to wall him out too. So you're just going to see who can wall out who better. Who can keep distance without eating a lot of damage. Who can keep, who can go the distance. Who can go with the distance. So every one hit just links into another one for, for either one of these players because they know how to confirm each and one of their hits. So they can't afford to get caught once. That's a lot of damage. Muse gets one bomb confirmed, he'll get a boomerang and a forward air in or some other aerial. But I know right here Johan's looking for his confirmed kills, he can get his Ignis going. And he's just a couple percent away from getting the checkmate again too to close out his second stock. This is an amazing back and forth first match. And Johan gets the checkmate. It is now 1-0 in favor of Johan. 1-0 in favor of Johan. Thanks again, everybody who's joining us on the stream. We appreciate every single one of you. All right, on to game two, running right back to Smashville. What I notice is a lot of top players don't like, <laughs> they don't like to really stage counter pick. They just want to go back to the stage they lost on. So it's just a matter of pride. <laughs> he wants to come back and try to lay the smack down. No. Yeah, let's get that chat going. Let's get a few messages. Any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to voice them. They're just going back and forth. Seems like a very evenly evenly matched fight so far. Right. Looks like Toon Link gets the better of Robin. Every time Toon Link comes in and initiates the attack. So even when Robin's starting to get a few hits off, Toon Link not gets them off of him pretty quick. Oh. Tilt are fast, but the Robin flubs. Loses a stock to himself. I don't even realize what happened there. He went for the jump, missed the jump, double jumped on accident, and didn't go for the up jump. Oh, and that was a close one from Muse, covering right in there. If he didn't get the tech when he got stage bounce, that could have been a stock. And here's some tilts. Robin is at 48%. Two Link's just over here sitting pretty at 90. He is at checkmate percentage, though. So as long as he can keep away, he can hold on to his stock for a while, but he is racking on some major damage on Robin. Robin just lost so much momentum when he, when he SD. He gets the checkmate, but he is down 95%, so let's see what he can do here. Oh 
Muse needs. Muse has some bomb confirms too, so Johan isn't the only one with the confirms of Robin. A Robin Grand Finals, yes. I think you'll like this. Um, Lupin, this is our best Robin in the States, and he is very comparable to Dath. Um, he does practice a lot with Prince Robin and Dath, so uh, our Robin is no slouch. But it seems like he, he just lost the momentum whenever uh, he SD'd earlier his first stock. But he's bringing two links back at 47%, so let's see if he can, if he can still come through. One just 28%. Just a bomb throw away from getting killed by two links. And two links knows this, so two links is just going to stay away and try to get his bomb confirmed. In. He's not trying to push anything because he does not want to cost And that'll do it for fight. game number two. Game two goes to Muse. So now it is tied 1-1. One, one. One round and Johan, one Muse. I keep getting confused over here. Mouse, mouse. Yeah. So much stuff going on over here at the RTZ Esports Arena. We have four mouses trying to control this one stream, making sure we give you guys the best quality that we know how to. Make sure to join us October 22nd. Here we go. Round number three, Johan versus Muse. Is it Johan? Yeah. Johan, Johan versus Muse. Oh, man. Johan. Johan's coming out strong. That level sword just does so much damage. Two Link's just doing his best to poke. Two Link, I think Two Link does not realize he was eating a lot of damage trying to get in close now, so... He's just going to try and fall back and wall him out some more instead of trying to uh, have a sword fight with, with Robin. And Robin is making better use of his projectiles this time around. Oh, and Robin gets the arc win, the L win spike. That's an early stock. That's going to be bad for Muse. So let's see if Muse can bring it back still. I've seen Muse come back from larger deficits. Muse is looking pretty strong this stock. Doing a good void, uh, doing a good job of stage awareness and avoiding most hits. Re grabbing his bombs. But here now Robin's building some momentum again for this. A straight forward smash from, from Robin goes unpunished. But now here, let's see if Two Link go on the offensive. He's just gonna throw some bombs on his shield. He's trying to get some openings, but Robin. Johan is doing a much better job of finding openings, but talking about openings, Muse just found one to sneak in his forward smash. Not going to quite do it. This is looking bad. Almost gets spiked again by the up B recovery from Robin. Robin healing in percentage. Not looking too bright for Muse right now. Muse gets the bomb confirmed, which is not going to be enough to get the kill. Tries for another forward smash. Two weeks first hit of forward smash is surprisingly good neutral. Uh, it's good to see that. I think his up air is really good. I mean, he just holds the sword out and the hitbox lingers. So, time's right, you will catch most air dodges and still connect the hit. But, look at, sitting here at 74%, off stage, no jump, gets hit by some, wow. some thunder. Let's see if he can make it back at 100%. Or is he going to get spiked? The no. amazing jump back. That checkmate. Johan gets the check and they confirm. Johan 2, Muse 1. Alright. And I know neither one of these guys will counterpick characters. <laughs> Muse is true to his two link. I can say the same about Johan, about his Robin. So Johan only has to win one more round here? Johan wins one more. And, and it's over. Win. And Muse has to win two more. Two more to get the resets. He wishes to stay in here, but Muse coming off strong. And that edge guard from uh, Johan that last game was really good, though. Muse coming in, though. Really strong looking this match. Let's see if he can keep the pace up. <coughs> I can't keep up with either one of these players. They're so quick. It's really aggravating. Very agile. Yeah, very agile. They know when anything will connect and they'll capitalize right off of it. That Levin Sword just does so much damage. You just have to get a couple hits on Levin Sword. Muse looking nice with his confirms. Getting a couple, a couple short combos in just to get the damage up. I think uh, Muse can get his bomb confirmed on this. 
close to the edge, you can very well see an early stock kill. But more than likely, Johan's not going to give that to him. Like Muse got a couple fans in here. Doc root for Muse. So Rob we're all going for the underdog here. Let's go, Muse. Let's hear it from Muse. Muse able to take Robin up to 134%. Only having 48%, so he's sitting here looking pretty nice this stock right now. Sitting here at this percentage, Muse has a lot of kill options. Let's we'll see which, how he's going to finish the stock off. He needs to close it out quick if he wants to secure this game. Oh, nearly misses the forward air. Johan getting some, some percentage now. Looks like he was trying to go for the KO there, but it backfired. The shield went up. So Johan coming out there, digging deep for that. Muse off stage without a jump. Oh, they're Makes fighting thin air. The moves. He just realizes he has a fallback a little bit. He doesn't want to be too aggressive. Even if he takes the stock. Muse <clears throat> gets the first stock over. Muse is just a couple percent shy from getting the checkmate confirmed on Robin. So Robin closed out the stock pretty quick with the grab right now. Muse racking on some damage though. Getting the what was that, a bomb boomerang into another bomb? <laughs> He's uh, just throwing them back to back to back. Throwing these projectiles. All right, here we go. Now I know that he is at up, up air percentage. This is the checkmate. Johan is trying to close the distance, come in, get the checkmate. Use these to put out as much damage as he can. So oh, it's that combo. Let's see if he can keep it up. He's still trying to wall him out. This is the down smash. Johan pressing now. Johan knows he can't get the confirm, so he has to work a little more. But now Johan at 100%. Even percentages, but Muse a whole stock up. Muse gets the two stock on game three. He's making four fours. Muse gonna get the racket reset? Whoa, this is game five of round one. If Muse gets one more, it resets, and we go again. Let's get ready to rumble. That'd be awesome if we can get that game in here. Like a bunch of people. Yeah. Uh, what was it called anyway? Was it straight up called was it called Rumble? Yeah, Rumble. Was it was it Rumble? called Rumble. Yeah. The guy with the afro on the front? Yeah. <laughs> I like this map. I like it. It's oh, nice and clean. Yo, I like it too. They decided to go Omega pick. Looks like this was uh Johan's pick actually. Taking it to two weeks home. The Wind Waker Omega. I really love how this stage looks though, it's beautiful. But let's see how this see how this goes. They're just kinda dancing around the neutral Whoa. right now. Muse needs a Thoron. Can he win round five to reset it and go all over again? All Stay right. in the money. Oh and the Thoron in the face. I never expected that one. <laughs> Looks like uh, Johan's trying to make some adjustments from last match. He, he's getting, he's eating some hits right now, but he's keeping even. It, it doesn't look like last match at all. So it looks like Johan's made the necessary adjustments. But, um, not being overly aggressive. It looks like Muse is making some on the fly adjustments too. Switching back from being uh, aggressive to being a little more passive and defensive. He's trying to get these bombs. He's trying to sneak them in, spacing on his fair so that if they hit, they hit. But if they don't, it still doesn't get punished. These boomerangs are really causing a problem for Johan to come in. And even when Johan grabs the bomb, it's still in Muse's favor. He's still out the detonator. A little fuse limit on the two links bombs. And if you throw it wrong, you're just gonna hurt yourself. Alright, here we go. Johan getting some, building up some momentum. He's getting Thoron. Oh, can't get the Thoron off. Muse closes the stock out with the up air. It's looking more and more like a reset every oh, second here. That's a little earlier than I expected for him to hit the checkmate at. That, that kill. <laughs> Johan flubbing his Thoron, did not get the B reverse. Shoots Thoron away. Boomerang coming in, but just causes a reset for Johan to get the back air on him. And now, Toon Link. Toon Link is down right now. He does not have the momentum. Johan definitely is saying, enough of this. I'm about to put a beat down on you. Here we go. Johan 
on building up more momentum. Gets a throw, keeps him off stage. Looks like as long as Johan can keep his, his stage control, it's more in Johan's favor. But he's building it back up. He's building his wall back. He's got his movement back, so let's see, let's see if he can regain his composure and close this set out for a reset. Or if Johan. Oh, is that a checkmate? That is a checkmate. Johan wins. That'll first be game. Johan uh, wins first place. Mew second. Stay two.